<clears throat> hey, welcome to the Autodesk Visualization Studio. I'm going to give you a three-minute tour of the studio, as well as some of the ideas that we spoke about that we could present at the global PR event. So let's begin with the studio and then talk about some of the technology that is a bit different from PowerPoint. Okay? Uh, this is the anti-theater, and it is uh, kind of what's interesting about this place is that this is the air conditioning unit. The water purifies the air, and we use this space to meet and greet our customers. This is typically where we'll put the spread of food. Agenda slides go on this presentation. Of course, there's digital walls um, and projection that we have available. Macintoshes. This is an old Macintosh that I wrote a book on some years ago and the visualization studio itself. What's in interesting about the visualization studio is that it's a completely flexible space. Um, the walls are movable in some locations, so this wall spans out and allows the entire theater to uh, uh, grow to be able to seat about 120 people. What we can also do is to take these walls here and then move them to the space on the ceiling and that enables us to create a closed octagon and a small space. There's some room on the side here that uh, lets us do uh, breakout sessions. It's a very useful space, really important part of a visualization studio, eating space, and supportive technology for printing, ever-present coffee machine, freight elevator, and a kitchen. So the Visualization Studio uh, has a number of projectors and uh, what we typically do is we fill the entire front of the screen. It's about 20 feet wide with a 3200 by 1200 pixel presentation that comes from these two Barco projectors. And there's other supporting projectors that would pr project to adjacent walls. Typically what we also have is a plasma portfolio wall that we use to control the entire space, but uh, it's currently not in place. So let me show you some of the technology that uh, I think will, could be interesting. I'm running Studio Tools now. I think I'm running version 12. And I'm running it in, in a kind of a slideshow mode. We created a 3D model of uh, which I've got some bookmarks on here to be able to progress through some ideas. The ideas that we uh, spoke about are people, process, tools, and physical environment. And these are important ideas that I think we want to circle back to. So as I go from one bookmark to the next, I can talk about people, process, tools, and physical environment, and more importantly, the synthesis or the integration of these ideas together. Where we can uh, go into a little bit more depth is to go through a museum exhibit. So we've just gone into um, the process part. So moving from a, a linear to a nonlinear process. I won't go through the details here, but uh, suffice to say that these are bitmaps and then we can add and swap uh, material. So that's process. People um, has some other good messages that you'd expect us to have. We can modify these accordingly. Tools are uh, messages that we'd want to incorporate here. This is for Nike, of course. And physical environment is about the integration of physical and digital spaces to make work persistent and integrative. So it's the synth synthesis of these together that I think can deliver a very compelling message. I think what's very cool about this is that we have a lot of the template already built, so it's uh, something that we could probably repurpose quite quickly, and uh, of course it makes for a very snazzy presentation. Okay, so that's the Viz Studio, that's Studio Tools 12, and that's some of that presentation material that we spoke about. Okay, see ya.